That's right, babies. It's that time again for the best news show to watch in Braille. It's Alarm Red Media News tonight with your slutty host, Cooter Wiseman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Alarm Red Media News tonight with me, Cooter Weissman. We bring you now to a parking lot just outside of a gentleman's club that I happen to favor. Here's a reporter who loves cocaine and strippers. Things are bad at our favorite strip club in town, Coot. As you can imagine, it's shocking to find out that you cannot use double penetration cards against humanity as forms of legal tender at strip clubs. However, good piece of news is that if you want your parking validated, you can easily just punch the ugliest male stripper in the place and they'll still do it. That doesn't matter to them. However, if you try to put your cards against humanity in their B slice, just like so, they will ask you to leave. They're very insistent, especially if you brought your own cocaine. Now that I'm out of cocaine, whores and strippers at the end of this three day bender, coot, I'm gonna invite you to that's a CVS pharmacy right over there. I'm gonna go rob that pharmacy and maybe snort some Prestol, and I invite you to join me at the oh, beach great. later on. In this. That sounds amazing. That, that sounds sound lovely. Like? How does that, that sound sounds to you? wonderful. How does that sound to you? Yes. How does it feel? Does it Indeed. feel good? Tell me about it. Thank does you it for good? asking. Is it good? Is it good? I love it. Is it good? Absolutely. I feel so fucking close to you right now. While I blame the schools for such tomfoolery, dullards from around the nation have a different perspective. Harry Howell. You are the senior VP of the Schemerschorn Fingschmaxchen Kind Incorporated, while Ashley Martinez, you are the chief liaison to the Booty Union, which is located just 16 miles from a gas station. Now, I'm very intrigued to hear each of your thoughts in a civil and uniformed discussion. Please, one at a time, go. I'm glad Coder, you the asked Booty her. Union is it's garbage. Disgusting. They're just a trash I organization. They're just I nothing but not harlots and trumpets and says, scullery no maids just parading There's around. There's no need for rudeness. The best interest of people There's no need. We'll check back later for any unique developments in our guest's raw sexual chemistry. Dangerous, intolerable conditions in La Jolla. The war for Mexifornia and independence continues to wreak havoc and plummet the real estate values and once chill vibes of a beach community just north of what was once San Diego. Our man in the field, Gustavo Voorhees. What have you learned, sir? I'm reporting to you live from the construction torn uh, neighborhoods of La Jolla, San Diego, California. You can tell, um, it's, it's quite a, uh, it's a overcast day. It's not very pleasant. There's a slight drizzle. It's not quite here. It's not quite here. We've got to go inside. Come on, go, go, go. go, go. Just behind me, in what used to be a paradise, La Jolla remains under siege by construction. It has not gotten any safer. It's, it's, it's intolerable conditions. Very intense. I've had to seek shelter behind the safety of this lemon bush seems to be a momentary break in construction. Construction seems to subside. Jesus! I don't know if you can hear it around me, but I'm incredibly feared for my life. And it's impossible to take a nap. Uh, there's a slight drizzle still. It's, it's intolerable. I've lost my dog. I don't know where my dog is. This may be my last transmission. So pray for La Jolla. Pray for La Jolla. The construction is terrible here. It may never be the same. Tragically, Alarm Red Media News tonight has learned that the dog did indeed die just a few short weeks later from eating stolen cheese and charcuterie. He will be missed. He was a good boy. Rest in peace, Bogartimus J. Dog. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Well, hello there. My name is Honest Uncle Dick Downs of Honest Uncle Dick Downs Domestic Auto Dealers, just off the Davis exit in Danbury. When we ain't playing badminton, we out there slinging the finest domestic auto deals east of Eden. You there, look at these deals. We can get dick down your throat. Don't get shuttle caught by those crappy deals foreign auto dealerships are trying to dick down your throat. What kind of deals can you expect? Check these out. Miles of cars? Piles of cars. 
Got a wife? Got a wife? Bring her down. Bring her down here. We'll fuck her too. We'll fuck her too. We'll fuck her too. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is a Dick Downs guarantee. Put that in your glove box. Take it home with you. Every deal is a great deal when you're getting dick down by Honest Uncle Dick Downs Domestic Discount Auto Dealers just 13 miles off the Danbury exit in Davis. Guess what, Bill? Guess what? Oh, Keeps not missing the run. This is happening today. So this is happening. Right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Alarm Red Media News tonight. I'm your host, Cooter Weissman, and I'd like to draw you naked. But first, here's your weather. Oh, Cooter Weissman, you're so handsome. You know what's not handsome? Whatever the hell is going on up around in Chicago, Detroit area, it's terrible. It's really, really bad. It's the home of the Windy Apple, and things are just raining. Oldsmobiles, unlike San Diego, San Diego's gonna get one inch of fresh farts. You're gonna wanna be there. Unlike Florida, the only reason to go there is to get aftermarket surgeries. All the flood runoff from the Grand Canyon flood, it's going there. It's going there, and it's just piling up by the Key West marker. A bunch of children are dead. Just stay the hell away from it. Speaking of places to stay the hell away from, purple areas. Blue and red make purple. I don't know what you do in these purple areas, but I'll tell you, I'm not gonna vote for it. What I do like are these numbers. These numbers, don't know if they were up or down, but they're gonna go up because I'm a little sassy. I'm a little sassy today, Coot. You just bring out the good stuff in me. <sighs> Arizona don't like it. It's a shithole. I got this thing right there. Is that gonna is that gonna get in my hair? I don't want it to get in my hair. I'd rather it be all over my chest. This next report will Jeez. just blow your socks off. First, check out this bloody day seven bread forecast. <sighs> you know, I used to buy sex from this gorgeous transsexual just outside of Phoenix. She told me that uh, it's actually a great place to buy a condo. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Demand no, my money back because go the go people who are each other cards either a trash people. If you could just let each other's people cook. Booty union equals stupid, 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 stupid. Lots of things happening in your weather world tonight, but next, let's look at sports. Sports? Daryl, you want to queue up sports? No. Nope. Here, check out this sports report. Thanks, Coot. I've been awkwardly watching your children for years, and if there's one thing I've learned, parents should take note. Drinking Chardonnay and consuming massive amounts of pills won't stop your children from sucking at soccer. Back to you, Coot. Right as usual, Noel, you always are. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after this. Do you struggle with the realization that drugs are awesome? Do you play Sudoku or pray on the weak? Have migratory birds ever made you question your menstruation? Stop struggling with the crippling sobriety of everyday life and ask a homeless person or Big Pharma if Prestola is right for you. People who abuse Prestola describe feelings of euphoria, general disregard for their families and friends, and their own personal well-being. Prestola is proven to make you more attractive to male exotic dancers while using Cards Against Humanity as currency. Don't use Prestola if things are going really well for you. Complete breakdown of uterine linings is common among men who have ever considered taking Prestola. When used after midnight, Prestola will transform old cars into working kaiju, as well as increase flatulence within 12 miles of Dallas. Alimony, hair loss, and increased golf stores are entirely certain of side effects of ingesting Prestola. Children under the age of 63 months become completely impotent when taking Prestola for longer than 63 months. If you suffer from long-term psoriasis, inappropriately long hold time, hallucinations, memory loss, priapism, vulvapism, blood clots, compulsive behaviors, Simpson Johnson's disease, suicidality, homicidality, homosexuality, brain cancer, lung cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, heart cancer, arm cancer, brain cancer, nerve cancer, Johnson Stevens disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, Gehrig Lou disease, birth defects, home defect. In some extreme cases, individuals have been known to enroll in gender studies college courses down at the local community college. Dementia, dyslexia, schizophrenia, mania, shingles, rickets, cheese whiz, egg. Eggs, milk, butter. Do not take this drug if you intend to go gambling within the next 10 years. Prestola is all organic and made from gecko placenta. Do not use this drug if you are a priest. Prestola has never withdrawn from the Paris Climate Accord. Prestola is proud to experiment on children. 
Prestola, there is absolutely nothing dangerous about this drug. You're fond of me lobster, ain't you? Everyone enjoys ye lobster. Yeah. I seen it. You're fond of me lobster. He's not lying. You do enjoy his lobster. Say so you. I've seen it as well. Say so you. Say so it. Say so it. I don't have to say nothing. Damn it! Hulk! Hulk! Triton! Trying to read here. Tell him you enjoy his lobster. All right, have it your way. I like it. What? Shifting gears from awesome to bummer is tonight's health report, which will certainly not make you wish that you hadn't blown those dudes in the restaurant alley on our second date, Karen. We take you now to the beach. Hi, Coot. Good to see you again. Tonight's health report. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Hello, Coot. Welcome to the health report where we're talking about Pristola, a drug that some Americans <laughs> took thinking it might cure their ailments of obvious physical, mental handicaps and psychosis. It does strike me as odd how anybody <laughs> ever would have thought that taking a drug invented from Chinese sonar technology would ever help them trim their toenails every Saturday morning. It just doesn't make sense to me. Just listen to some of the testimonials from these real life Pristola users and also fun Americans. <laughs> bro, Pristola is fucking awesome, bro. <laughs> I kept taking the Pristola, you see? But my grandchildren, they never called. Let me tell you something, man. If it wasn't for Prestola, we'd have lost so many more fucking men during the war. Prestola saved lives that day. What the fuck do you know, man? You don't know fucking anything about anything. Fuck Prestola. Oh my God, Kim. Can, can you believe those testimonials from those Americans? All they wanted was a better life, and that's why they ingested the Pristola in the first place. And then it just went really haywire on them. Oh. Really great health report, you beautiful bearded lady. Love that on uh, Prestola. Just great news about Prestola, are we right? Everyone loves Prestola still. Nothing bad uh, is what I heard from that health report. Harless, I was supposed to be. I do not care what you have to say. Civil discussion. Your argument is just null and void. You are a Jezebel. We'll check back later for any unique developments in our guest's raw sexual chemistry. Breaking alarm red media news tonight, news, ladies and homeless children. Tragedy in the form of fire has befallen a local hero, family man, and business owner. We take you now live to. Honest Uncle Dick Downs of Honest Uncle Dick Downs discount domestic auto dealers just down off the Davis exit in Danbury. What can we learn? Coop, Coop, thank God you're here. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you. Just give me that. Let me tell you what happened, Coot. I did not mean any malice or anything like that. I swear to you, Coot. I was just, I was playing badminton and a man came in. He said he wanted to buy that 67 Trans Am. And I sold it to him, Coot. I sold it to him because every deal was a deal when you're getting dicked down by Honest Uncle Dick Downs Discount Domestic Auto Dealers just south of the Davis exit in Danbury. He bought that Trans Am. And then I set off some fireworks and that was a big mistake on my half, Coot. I should not have done that. I should not have been skirting the county fire regulations uh, it doesn't matter if it's sold a trans amp coup oh gee oh jiminy i am oh 
Let me tell you something, cute. Let me tell you something. I am so sorry. I am going to be doing the dishes on this one. Hold on, Uncle Dick Down. He is going to be doing the dishes on this one. Just south of the Davis exit in Danbury. <laughs> oh, back to you, Coop. <laughs> doing the dishes, Dick, you old scamp. You make me laugh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we here at Alarm Red Media News tonight never want to end on a negative story. So this next story is one of my personal favorite pieces, and it's called Adopt a Friend. That's where we here at the Alarm Red Media News Tonight company invite you, the Alarm Red Media News Tonight audience, to bring a new addition into your home, which could just be the perfect pal for the socially awkward child in your life. Tonight's friend that you can adopt is Bitey the Pet Snake. Bitey hails from the town of Pittsburgh, Tennessee, which is actually just 16 miles from a mini vault. <laughs> Bitey likes to hug his friends in the morning and eat in the afternoon just before a quick nap. And whew, as you can see, Bitey looks like he could be a real handful. <laughs> That's all the news that we have for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But we here at Alarm Red Media News tonight want you to know that we love you. We care about you, and that's why we are your number one trusted source for fake news and garbage life coaching. Just remember, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. I'm Cooter Weissman. Have a great night. That was good. That felt great. Did you like that? Cooter, your mic is hot. Sounded good? Cooter. Maybe if we get out of here early. We can go snort some Prestola. Tell him his mic is hot. Cooter. Down on the beach? Sound good? Cooter, your mic is hot. My mic's hot? What do you mean? Cooter. I think I'm fine. Cooter. Quiet over there. You're bullshit. <laughs> Terrell, you're bullshit. Wipe my ass with this script. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Watch. Here it is. Yeah? Yeah? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ears. Yep. Boom. Boom. Yep. There's a, yep. That's a picture of a cat. Are we done here? Are we done? Are we good? You got everything you need? All right. I'm gonna go meet a hooker.